followers and tubers, hope you're doing well. I'm here with CJ. And so I got a special request and I'm gonna go ahead and do that for her, um, Victoria's channel. So she requested to demonstrate what to do with the horse that spooks over obstacles like barrels and poles. Cause she has the horse that she's working with and it seems to be unsure about these bright objects. So I'm gonna go ahead and use CJ, like he hasn't really been exposed to any of this. So um, I'm just gonna show like examples how you could get your horse used to the objects, barrels or poles. First, I'm gonna start off with groundwork. I have a barrel back here. He's, he can't, he really does not. I'm just going to kick the barrel around too. Okay, so there was really not, not a lot of reaction like uh, we kind of wanted him to do. Um, so I guess he's not going to be a great example about how to desensitize with scary objects. But it's kind of a, exactly the same concept. You want to start off like that. Remember what I've said, don't be quiet around the horse. Make yourself big. That's why I was just like, ha, ha. Just kicking it out of the way, making sounds, banging it with my hands. You got to desensitize them. Don't sneak around your horse because then when they do hear that kapow, they're going to freak out and blow up. And we don't want that to happen. So be big. See how CJ's not worried anymore? He's like, she's crazy. I'm used to her being like, wah, 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 all loud and crazy. Okay, so it's kind of what you would do, and same thing with the pole. I'm going to go get the pole and see how he does with that. Shake your head. You got bugs in your ears? No? Shake it away. Oh boy. Well, I'm going to knock it down on purpose. See what he does. 
he wants to smell it, that's great. I'm going to let him investigate it. Yeah, what is it? Do you have something on the thing? Okay. <laughs> Your voice is good. I appreciate you wanting to come and investigate. So I'm going to bring it up to him. Ah, see how he's kind of backing up? So I'm going to keep bringing it to him. Okay, this is good actually. So he's scared of it if I bring it up to him. All right, this is where you want to be in the safe zone. Your safe zone is right by the horse's shoulder. Hold on to your lead line, hand up by the eye. So if he tries to. If he tries to take off, then he's just going to circle. Thanks, Harvey. So he stops, and I'm going to stop. really stand still. So I'm not gonna stop until he stands still. There we go. Finally. He sits still so I'm gonna release the pressure. Okay. Oh my gosh, that thing's heavy. It's a concrete cro bleh. It's a concrete block. <sighs> I'm going to work the left arm next. Okay. What you do to one side, you must do to the other side. Oh, good boy. See, he's looking and chewing. He's trying to figure it out. Oh, I don't need a move. He's just making noise with it. Okay. And I am dropping it, so it's vibrating on the ground, and it's also making the sound a pipe would when you hit it on the floor. You want to just rub, 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 tap, 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 rub, 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 boy. rub, 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 Bees. Gosh, those bees are so aggressive right now. Okay, so that's how you would, that's a technique and a way how to do sunsets.
desensitize your horse from objects like a barrel or a pole. It's pretty much the same concept. It is when you release the pressure, like if they're scared of you waving a flag or the tarp or whatever, you do not stop until they stop, then you take it away. No eating. Then you take it away and they're going to start to think and put things together. The release of pressure is my reward. So I listen, I do as they ask, and I get left alone or they stop kicking or, or you know, whatever, putting a scary thing in their face. So it's the release of pressure, okay? I hope this kind of has given you food for thought so you could go practice that with your horse. And, um, you know, let me know how it goes. Let me know if it works out. I'll try to use Spartacus again next time because he, he's still kind of unsure when stuff goes at him. So, you know, it might be a little better example. But I'm actually glad that he blew up a little bit. It wasn't a big blow up. It was just like, whoa. Good boy, CJ. So I'm going to mount up and see how he does. And I'm going to try to drag the pole next. Shaking the pole with the camera on. Good boy. Okay. It's hot out here, so that's why I'm wearing shorts. Don't wear shorts when you ride. I could already start to feel... There's a little hair here. Sorry. I'm, I could already... Why are you backing up? I could already start to feel the leather burn my inner thighs. 
Okay, so I wanted to share with you the progress that we have been doing, CJ and I. Um, I've been trotting him. I post the trot. Shh, hey, shh. No. I post the trot on him and I do the sitting trot. I've been weaving through the cones and we've been walking around the barrels, just circling barrels. Um, not as much. So, oh, hey. Oh, oh, he's antsy. Okay, so I'm going to show you what we've been working on, okay? There you go.
We're doing really good. Really good, CJ. Still establishing direction and straight straight lines. Mm. Felt like a bug went in my shirt. He's really sensitive, so if I'm like going one direction and I accidentally bump the other rein, he all of a sudden turns to that side. So I gotta be very sensitive with this guy. And it's great because I've been using the bosal, so just to, just wait to see him when he's in the in the bridle using a bit. He's gonna be so soft and so smooth, easy going. I have to yank, yank, yank. <laughs>